All right, I'm back on the UEN homepage, and now I'm going to head into the Pioneer Library. So from the homepage, I'm going to scroll down until I see this little Pioneer logo right here. Click on that, and it'll take me to this information here. Now there are some letters and stuff that you can download uh, to tell parents and students how to get onto this system. Uh, any Utah resident can get on here just for a limited amount of information as well. Uh, so this is really intended to be a state resource, basically. With your uh, login that you created for my UEN, we're going to log in here with, in the K-12 schools area. So you're just planning on your future. And remember, please, that you are a Utah educator because you're now in a teacher training program. So you're going to log in with your MyUEN information here. Click Login. There we go. Now I mentioned there's a letter you can send home to parents. That'll be important for you for later. Uh, that's found up here in the support materials. So if you click there, you can find kind of what's new. There's a brochure telling people about it. And then there's a home access letter here that explains how to log in and stuff. Um, PDF and Word versions, English and Spanish are available there. Okay, so some great little resources uh, as far as support goes. Now this is really just crazy research materials is what this is all about. This is an online li library for the entire state. So I wanted to kind of uh, overview it and then I'll get you going in a few of the specific areas. Culture Grams is a place where students can go to learn about different countries as well as the states, uh, learn how to say phrases and languages, learn what the populations are, etc., etc. Super awesome resource if you're a Spanish teacher like me. All right, the EBSCO site is for research, so this will get them scholarly articles on different topics. Okay. Uh, I'm going to let you explore some of these others. There are a ton of resources in here. Many of these have lesson plans like ThinkQuest and Thinkfinity and things like that. Library of Congress you've heard of before, but that's a great uh, resource for images and historical information and things like that. Hippocampus is that homework help area. Okay, All of the Utah newspapers are available online here, uh, which is a really nice resource as well. And then we've got a few more over here that are kind of fun. E-media will allow us to get videos and things that we can use in our classroom. Uh, Sounds Abound will allow us to get sound effects and music that is royalty free. Hoorah! So this will be a good resource for us when we're creating some multimedia projects. Look at that, the World Book Encyclopedia, no longer in print, but it's available to us. And then these SIRS options get us into more like magazines and current events and things like that. Not the scholarly articles, but the more um, kind of trade magazines and things like that. All right, so that's a brief intro to Pioneer. I'll have you do a few other things in here as well.